it's like especially the way i live it's like bro there's really people out here that's like yo like they will probably blow cities up destroy any and everything to live the life that i live so it's like yeah i have my own issues but it's like bro you <laughs> like you just gotta stay great you gotta just be humble you gotta stay grateful it's a cold sunday to complain i hold it in until it rain i fought demons out the fame i spent millions on terrain i treat my bitches like diana pretty princess hold a fan of thousand three dollars check about jeans make her ass look fatter we won't catch him outside he don't got no money for the backup i ran 30 million in the ground baby now i'm back up she a city girl on the real reason that she act up she told back i make her pack up set her home on spirit Something in my spirit made me not believe I fear. This video is titled Visiting the Sketchiest Trailer Park in Arizona by Tommy G. In this channel, we go to a lot of sketchy places. Today, we take you to the east side of Phoenix in a trailer park and you meet these foos. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. In a trailer park and you meet these foos. That's right. What's his name? What's his name? His name starts with a D. Is that, um, come on, I gotta make the joke funny. What's his name? Destiny. <laughs> Bro, that's Destiny. Destiny right there. I could have said Markiplier, but Destiny just sounded funnier. These little communities that are often overlooked trailer parks you see videos all over the internet of famous hoods like south central la or famous projects like obra but can you name a famous trailer park they're sort of an undiscovered world if i had to stereotype what i think of when trailer park pops into my head i confess that i probably picture someone making moonshine or squirrel stew but is that the truth today since we're going to the first trailer that park resident park, evil meal on that rock did you see that and visit the sketch Oh my goodness, bro. What was that? If I had to stereotype what I think of when Trailer Park pops into my head, I confess that I'd probably picture someone making moonshine or squirrel. Moon, moonshine. Like, it has sticks in it. What are you... Nah, bro. But is that the truth? Today, since we're going to the first trailer park in channel history, I thought we'd start off with a bang and visit the sketchiest trailer park in Phoenix, Arizona. So get ready, folks. It's time to hit the streets. Or should I say park? Not everything from this episode is able to be put on YouTube, so click the Patreon if you'd like to see more. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, tell the people where we are and what this place is known for. Right now we're on 48th Street, right now 48th Street McDowell. That was right here with my dog. I ain't seen him. I just got out of prison and shit, dog. Oh, you're the guy that just got out. Yeah, I just got out. So, are you celebrating a little bit today? Well, shit, honestly, rest in peace, my mom, dog. She just died a couple days ago, too. A couple days before uh, Thanksgiving, dog. And I just got out, do you know what I mean? Celebrate her, too, dog. Celebrate her life, dog. You know what I mean? How long did you go away for? Shit, I just did three and a half. I ain't too much, you know what I mean? So, what is it like being. This man just said. My mom passed a few days ago. He said, how many, how many years you do? He says three and a half, like it was nothing. I couldn't be in there for more than 30 seconds. And he's talking like, this is just normal. Or actually, let me not say that. Cause he's probably holding in a lot for the video. Cause that's his mom. But like, I couldn't be on a YouTube video. My mom just passed a couple of days ago. I couldn't. Was there anything that changed since? Because you went out, you went in before COVID, right? Yeah, no, that shit was fucked up. Yeah. That shit was fucked up in there. I was in there 19, 20 months even no plea just because due to COVID. You want to walk us around a little better? Or introduce look, we, got, we, got, we got my primo. It could be fate. I like your style, dude. What's your name? You gotta understand there's some people that have seen. Yeah, that's true. It could be, yeah, it could be fake. Bro, but like, 
like trying to look at it from someone else's point of view, bro. Like you'll never like I know I'll never be able to understand. But like it, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I like to believe it's real too, because I don't want to like say, but oh, this fake you and also Tommy G don't usually like he don't have fake videos in my opinion. Like <laughs> all his videos are pretty much real. He he's usually in danger like ninety percent of the time. He's interviewing these people, visiting these places. Nice to meet you. You look like you could do a lot of different professions. What what do you do? I do anything from music. So I do music, I also strip, and I do Twitch. My name is Destiny. <laughs> I gotta stop playing, bro. The, the boxing and shit from anything, man. I'm, I'm a this dude dressed like a Fortnite character, bro. I like the style too. You got unique fashion. Yeah, suspenders on. Like this is really a Fortnite fit. Whatever makes the biggest buck. <laughs> so I'm saying. Right, that's what that's exactly how he's dressed. Where are we dropping? Like, how long have you been here for? Well, I've been locked up for about 17 and a half years. I got oh my goodness, 2000? yeah, I got locked up 2002, got out 2014. What, that's a long time, sir. Hold on, hold on. His app, his math did not just add up. Tell me how long. Oh, how long have you been here for? Oh, I thought he said how long he was locked up for. I was about to say, did you just say you was locked up for 17 months and then say you, you came back in 2014? That don't make sense. I'd have been like, attempted what, sir? You said, oh, okay, I see y'all. I mean, they probably all, like, <laughs> I was. I would expect stuff like that, but like, argh, that's, why I, that's why I just stay home. I can't do that. Oh, you said you said you attempted what? Yep. I see you. All you gotta do is drive down the streets. You see everybody on the side of the road, on the street, panhandling. People just looking like they're homeless. They're homeless. They are. They need help. You know, people need rehab and detox. That's sad. I don't know if we hit on this briefly, but I'm gonna ask again. Speak to cost of living. How it's gone up lately. Cost of living, man, went up, man. I'm paying like almost 3K where I live, man. That's it, expensive, man. I remember paying like maybe 1500 for a two bedroom, but it was like really not really big, you know? Yeah. But for a little thousand bucks more, man, I got a bigger spot. Hey, you make money, bro, is living in the center park, so I'm gonna be honest with you. That's the only way you're gonna make money if you don't got money. Can, can you guys take yeah, another little trip through it? It's all family, though. We all, so we all it, take care of each other here. What's it cost to rent around here? Right here? I own my trailer. He yeah, owns this trailer. Yeah. I bought that shit years ago, but we only paid about five, six hundred dollars in rent. You know what I mean? But shit, I bought that bitch. So if you if you buy your trailer outright, five or six hundred. Hey, bro. I was gonna say the same thing. I'm blessed on everything. I was like, I'm just I'm just blessed to be in the position that I'm in right now. Cause it's it's people out in this world. They they going through twenty times worse of things. And yeah, it just makes you realize. And then on top of that, it's like sometimes they're in these situations and it's not even their fault like it's not even like they just get put into this life it's not even like they chose it like 99 percent of the time i'm pretty sure they don't choose this like this is not what they want like all i had to yeah like yeah bro bro that's what i think about this type of stuff all the time all the time it's like I I don't have to worry about looking over my shoulder to make sure nobody's like checking me, like following me or trying to do something crazy. It's like I can come in my house knowing I'm okay. Like I don't gotta worry about whether I'm gonna be able to eat, sleep fine, eat the next day. It's like, bro, like just bless. Puts it in a uh, perspective, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He on this one, he on the next one. Are people here responsible for their own maintenance? Like if their toilet yeah. goes down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I say you just gotta thank God. You just gotta thank God. That's why I just say Amen. God is good every day. You just got you gotta keep saying it, cause he really, he really, he really is. Like, bro, I don't like. It's crazy. And this is a norm for this is their norm. 
magical. Like they look small from the outside, but you oh, walk yeah, in, it's pretty damn big. We can go, we can yeah. go in mine right now. Yeah. A little bit mine in the first one, so yeah. we go up there and shit. Some people, their only experience with a trailer park is watching trailer park boys about that TV show <laughs> guys in Canada. What can you tell them? Like, what's a true stereotype? What's bullshit? What's real? I mean, it's so low key. It's a, we all the same shit. They motherfuckers trying to get money. You know what I mean? It's all the same shit. Would you say it's a close knit community? Yeah, I, oh, this is all family around here. Cause I feel like a big thing that's missing right now is community. People don't even know their own neighbors right now. Do you feel like this place has a nice sense of community to it? Oh no, this this shit is a great community. You know what I mean? Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, it's a good sense of community right here. It's all family and shit. Do you guys feel wrecked? Um, well, that's that's the good thing though. At least they got each other. That's that's bro. This is crazy. Do you guys feel like the government has your best interest at heart? Nah. Fuck no. Nobody's bad. You know, fuck the government. But at the same time, you yeah, they, 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 you they, know, they banding together. Like, we got everybody around here. This bitch we got here. Someone by Jack. Someone by the Circle K. Like everybody's fucking connected here. So you feel like rely on yourself because you can't rely on the government. Fuck yeah. No, you know to be mean? honest, at the end of the day, nah. Were your friends at school scared to come to your house when you'd invite them over? They were scared, but nah. they knew that if they came, some shit was gonna go down all the time. You know so if someone's first time coming over, they were like, okay. that shop, but then they got used to it and were happy. Yeah, and they met us, they were like, all right, these people are cool, let's fuck with them, you know, and just become friends. And then after that, it was just a wrap, you know? Hola, como estas? Bien, bien. Me llamo Tomas. Salvador. Ooh, me gusta tu bigote. Es muy fuerte. Pienso que es importante para un hombre tener un bigote fuerte. ¿Cuántos años aquí? ¿Qué te gusta sobre el parque? Calmado, está bien. Y este hermano a la también. <laughs> Makes you want to give back and yeah. That's what, bro. That's really what I want to do. Like, I said that in the other stream, but like, bro, once I start, like, genuinely, like, this isn't even about money, but like, that's a part of my plan. Like, way down the line, like, I, I, I hope I come back to this one day and see it on like YouTube or whatever and be like, damn, like I was, and then I could really do big things for like other people. That would, that would be fire, like fire. Cause like it would be fire to bless people the way God blesses me. That's all I want to do. Like that would be like <laughs> that would be so fire. Like it, I would feel so accomplished. Not even just the fact because I'm like, oh yeah, they need my help. More just like yo, I'm able to actually genuinely make a change in the world or just put out positive energy and do things for people that a lot of people can't do or would want to do but they're not in my position to do it and i can do it like yeah because i'm in that spot and it's not because there's thousands probably millions of hundreds of millions of people that probably would be in the same spot as me have the same opportunities but i know i'm the positive to the world instead of like you know oh i don't care about nobody type inner like no we're in the one percent yeah like that's <laughs> that's bro that's actually crazy because it's like it's like especially the way i live it's like bro there's really people out here that's like yo like they will probably blow cities up destroy any and everything to live the life that i live so it's like yeah i have my own issues but it's like bro you <laughs> like you just gotta stay great you gotta just be humble you gotta stay grateful like Cause you always dream about being a millionaire, but you don't even realize how, yeah, you don't even realize how good it is right now. It's like, you got to go right now. You talking about the future? Like, bro, this is crazy. Like this video is actually crazy. But that's what I think of when I watch all the Tommy G's videos. Cause like, um, unless he does like rappers, cause usually like the rappers go into their backstories, but like, you know, like they're like good now. 
But like when you see videos like this, bro, it's like yo. Same thing with the Coca Cola video. Like it was like yo, like that's crazy. That is the voice of a man right there. He does not have. That's why I kind of get pissed when I hear complaints about how much they hate school. Yeah, because there's people out there that's like, bro, I would love to have an uh, education or go to school or, yeah. Okay. Twitch, please. That was only in GTA. Don't. Why did he let him do that? <laughs> that was only in GTA. It's not real. Always a dating pool around here. Is it easy to find a good date? It's a good hard. Night? It's yeah. hard. It's hard. Tell us it's about it, please. Hard. I want to hear. What? Wait, hold on. Oh my God, I'm gonna get banned. Yo, Twitch. It was in GTA. That's a GTA gun. Wasn't even a gun. It was a um. It was a um. What you gonna call it? What you gonna call it? It was. It wasn't even anything for real. <laughs> Click off. What percent of them are flexing and what percent of them really got majority it? Majority are flexing, majority don't got it. Like the, yeah. it's more the female that are independent like us. Yeah. We got it, we work. So it feels like the flexors are winning though. Like when it comes no, to- No, they winning. Uh, no. Who, who gets the girl? The I know, I know she's not talking. I know she's not talking. I know Gorilla Grodd. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even say that. Flexor usually gets the girl. It's the girl when the I'm guy that's going nowadays. to the, hold on, yeah. the guy that's going to the nine to five, he has his uniform. Uh, All the girls are like, oh no, he's not I've cool. Been, and then the cool. flexor, they're that's like, cool. Ooh. A man that works is don't beat him in Vossel, man. I had a question for All right, look, I'm going to say this right now. This girl right here, she's speaking for herself. These two girls did not agree. They know which ones they want. You see, she already has a child. Where's the father? I'm not saying that, you know, but I'm just saying, like, it's like, it's like, she, I think she's actually telling the truth. These two are just capping for the video. Question for the single men around here. Uh, All right. Uh, How is the dating pool? I just heard the ladies talk. How do you think the dating pool is around here? To be honest, right here, it's kind of it sucks a little bit because you know it's a lot of women out here that you know like, you got the Latino women, I like Latina men, some black women like black men, but it's all kind of different out here, you know. So you might go for a black woman, but she doesn't want to. She likes a Latino men, you know. But a lot of these women are out here to play, especially on this block, 48th Street, you know. Yeah. But uh -huh. You just gotta watch out for yourself. There's a lot of gold diggers out here. I mean, a lot. Yeah. Of Go diggers, bro. Like, what, what percent Latino is this area? What percent black? What percent Yo, that's crazy how both genders are saying, <laughs> like, they're they're both just colliding with each other. <laughs> that's so crazy. They talking about there's no good men out here, and they flexing, and then the other one is talking about, like, bro. Wow, you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. 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 Yeah, you know, I tried to go for Latino women around here. You know, they weren't really feeling me. Yeah, you know. They bad as fuck. Somebody else is bad. They're bad, but they don't, you know. So I have to try my luck elsewhere. You know, okay. especially around here. You know, you're gonna see traditional Latino women go for tra traditional Latino men. Yeah. Have you ever considered learning how to salsa dance? Man, I'm salsa. Look, they're saying that in the video. So they took me to a gas station where behind in a field, a bunch of homeless people and fentanyl addicts were gathering, smoking, and sleeping. Here's what we found. Uh, one of my childhood friends right here. My sister's friend. Really? Yeah, the other day I was right here at 7-Eleven getting some milk and shit. And I seen her like standing over there at the bus stop with her fucking ass out like this. And she was not for real, man. She she be doing that shit, man. I had to call her dad. Her dad came up with a little big ass commotion over here. It just it kind of broke my heart, you know, knowing that I knew that little girl since she was little, you know. Me eat, bro, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my god! I swear we think the exact same. 
like same thing bro same thing with like alcohol like anytime i see people get drunk or get wasted it never looks fun i don't know like like i've never been drunk i've tried alcohol before but i've never been drunk and like every time i see it or like i have family members tell me how it like feels like my cousins and stuff they'll be telling me how like it feels to have like a hangover or like just being fully gone yeah don't like the idea of losing yeah like it's like bro you're helpless you can't you can't do anything if something happens you just literally have to just hope and pray god always got you but you just gonna have to hope that you are being protected like like he gonna protect <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but you you just gotta you gonna have to leave it up to god at that point because you can't do nothing I think that you have a good heart, but would money help these people? If you gave them no. each a no. 20 grand. They yeah, no. straight up no. Yep, and that's... I've made my... Yeah, so have I, bro. Like, it just... Like... It doesn't look enjoyable. Like, bro, the thing is, I've been high, right? So, I've tried both. Both of my experiences were, like... Mm -mm. it was it was like mm, it was kind of like that and now when people like offer or whatever i just say no because it's like one i don't really want to be in that state of just like being gone like i don't that that feeling of just being like bro it just feels it feels so weird <laughs> thank you it's some uh, bro like i don't know how people can just and then like what makes it worse is when i see people that are like addicted like when they're like no i need this every day like every day they're just going back to back to back they just i'm like no no like i it it never looked any types of fun i don't know how people see it and be like yo that looks cool no he can tell you a good story man yeah. <laughs> so you guys know each other from back in the day oh yeah, yeah. this my boy right yeah, here you know what i mean dude right here this my boy yeah man how long you guys been in this area for yeah it's gonna yeah <laughs> how are you out here <laughs> Your folks know you're out here? This is crazy. Oh, what's up, yo? Following. Both my friends just died off the fucking thing. What? <laughs> Why'd you say? Is it easy? It's one hit can change your life. Is it like that? I'd say a couple hits can change your life. Not just one. Because I know Arizona, a lot of stuff comes over the border and, and hits here and is it hard to know what you're getting from the dealer because everything is mixed up with some sounds out there? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what is that? Like? Have I ever heard Russian music? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Just just to be sure, you're not gonna ask to listen to your I'm gonna go to bed. See you. All right, yo. Peace. Sleep well, yo. Can I see you? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I would ever listen to Russian music.
Ben said he caught it before. Dangerous, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. Dangerous, dog. That's why I fell back up a little bit. That shit get dangerous, huh? You just took a couple of hits. How do you feel now? What's different? I don't know. Do you feel pretty similar to how you did just two minutes ago? Sure. It seems like the common denominator with almost everyone is that something happened earlier in their life that's painful that they're kind of running from. Would you say that's a common story around here? Oh, uh, one more thing. Is there any part of your story? You think I like it? Mmm. I don't know. What caused you to go homeless the first time? My brother died when he was um, 11 years old. And I couldn't see something. And then the house was broken. And How did your brother pass? He went to sleep one night and never woke up. And then from that point on, your life was different. Yes. Yo, wait, what? Homeless as a 15 or 16 year old. Were people looking for you? Were you just, you just kind of just checked out of life? How did that go? I started learning how to live on the street at the age of 10 years old. Do you see any way out of this hole that you've dug? Eventually. So do you sleep out here? Yes. And do you have a tent, or what's your setup? I don't sleep out here in the park. I, I sleep anywhere I can my head, really. Anywhere I feel safe. Do you have a preferred spot, or does it switch every night? It switches. It never used to be uh, homeless people robbing homeless people and people doing people dirty. Well, I appreciate you sharing your story. Is there anything, any final thoughts you'd like to share? No, not really. I appreciate you. And your name is? Chris. Tommy. Nice to meet you. Chris. OG Buddha Porsche. Okay, okay. I'll react to it after this video. I wish you the best, okay? All the time. I've been traveling around seeing a lot of different cities in America and it's hard not to feel like things are starting to tip and hit that point of no return. Like economy? There's a weird feeling in the air right now. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Ever since COVID, bro, it, it's just, just been going downhill with the government. I feel like we've lost our pride, too. Like, we've lost, not not just for our country, but for ourselves. Like, yeah, right. we just don't give a f no more. Yeah. That's the problem out nowadays. That's exactly it, though. Is people, don't, like, people don't care anymore. And I feel like, like, how do we get people to give a shit again? We only have one short little life. You know, how do you get people to care? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta bring them together. Community services. Yeah. I think even the little things like trash, like you have to yeah. be Jeff Bezos to throw away your trash. You yeah. know, everyone can do that. To the people back home, you have power with your choices and you can make your city a better place or a worse place. So get out there and let's get after it. You know what I mean? Become one. Unite. That's how it works. Shall we hit the wagon wheel? Let's hit the wagon wheel. Let's hit it. Do I like Drew? Uh, not really. It's all right, but not really my thing. Well, y'all knew what the fuck happened in this trailer. You used to live here? I used to visit people here. I mean, you know, some people here. And basically, uh, some shit went down. Shots were fired. Uh, we were all in there, and your boy almost fucking passed out, passed away. But, you know, we here. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Shit just happened here that wasn't supposed to happen. So this is the spot where everybody fucking grew up. Everybody knows each other. So what are your aspirations? You seem like a motivated guy. Yeah. Definitely motivated, you know, coming from a place like this, coming from a place that was full of danger and full of people just wanting to do fucking shit that wasn't right. So now we're at a story where we can motivate people and tell them our story and let them know how everything we did wasn't right, but it was just happening in the moment. Now we're just trying to inspire people to get away from this life and to do better in life, you know what I mean? What's a dream job for you? A dream job? Threw off the Russian yeet. <laughs> be uh what i'm doing right now i'm trying to be a motivational speaker for people and i'm trying to just make sure that the community knows that even though you went through bullshit you can still get out of it no matter the situation or the mentality we're walking towards a, a group of tents is that a new development or has this been a common place for a while for this that kind of stuff pretty, honestly nowadays it's common so probably not it's common everywhere now in arizona this shit is bad so this is just in walking distance in this community there's a few hot spots already that we've stumbled on and this is all due to the blue, the blue devil, but hey there, how you doing? This is a good camp you got. Yeah. How long you been in this spot for? Um, we've been here, like, I'm going on like two months now. This spot seems a lot more quiet and secluded. Yeah. So, kind of an outdoor survivalist, like, what are your top, like, three, four things? Like, this is where I need to survive. These are the most important things in my kit. Um, water, food, blankets. 
how do you go about what's your strategy for food it's like cold like bologna bread easy open can and most of our food we get from like the churches and stuff is there a lot of places that's a blessing or is there limited options like how hard is it to get food it, it's it's hard to get around like especially if you don't have no money how have blues changed the game I got a how long will the video be uh it's still like a whole nother like six seven minutes So what's unique about the blues? What's the game changer about the blues? It numbs a lot of like like depression and stuff that I go through. How much does a daily habit go for? Or how many pills does it take to make it through a day? I just started so I'm going on like maybe like at least four to five pills a day. But there's other people that go like from like twenty pills a day to fifty to a hundred pills. Yeah, hundred pills a day. So the tolerance just is built up. So I'm looking for your take on this. People that are on the more democratic side would say the solution to all this is more government programs, more government resources. The Republican side of the, the political party would say uh, personal responsibility, personal accountability is the answer to all this. What do you guys think? It's about caring about each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you see a person is down and you say, oh, well, you need to this, you need to do that, no, I'll be living your life. You know what I mean? You trying to tell me what I need to do. If I need to do it, let me be. As long as I'm not trying to hurt me. You say he helps support her? Nah, basically what what he's doing is he visited he's visiting this uh trailer park obviously in Arizona but he basically goes to like different like um like he basically just interviews a lot of like people from rappers and like he he checks out like hoods and he he just does a whole bunch of like he goes to like a whole bunch of places and just see other people's lives really on the democrat versus republican for this issue i think it's all just yourself like get yourself to do things i think everybody's got their own part of being responsible for themselves like it, either you want to be out here to be out here or like sometimes you have to be out here just you know to make it but i think it's everybody's own responsibility to make the decisions that they want to decide on is there anything you like to say to a family that might be watching this your friends or people back home don't take life for granted, I guess. You just your parents and then don't try to stay away from the drugs because this is your life, this is your future you're looking at when you get on drugs. So thank you guys. Stay warm, stay safe, and have a good night, okay? You too. Uh, there's a lot of outcomes this life can have. Right. And you can go from homeless to millionaire to homeless. Fast. Like Fast. That's, that's the, the crazy part about life, man. It's, it's like, an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. This is actually insane. Some lingo. I hear the word foo a lot around here. <laughs> this is homie, you know what I mean? What up, foo? <laughs> Do I get a lingo I should know? What up, foo? I'm, 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 I'm crying. <laughs> Like that guy with the bigote was a P.O. Yeah, that yeah, was a P.O. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do like an MTV crib tour. So like, look, this is my motherfucking crib. You feel me? We got the flowers and shit. <laughs> Bitches love flowers, so you gotta keep the flowers up. You feel me? You Bitches do like flowers. Yeah. Smart, but I was informed earlier that bitches like flowers. <laughs> is that true? Someone just told me about two oh, minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, so <laughs> we're not bitches. No, we're not, exactly. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying in general. Oh, we're no work. Females. <laughs> Females <laughs> like flowers. Is that true? Who said bitches? Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell. Oh, MTV Cribs, MTV Cribs. Right, so look, you got the, you got the little kitchen, you know what I mean? Little kitchen, little shit. You know what I mean? Everything you need. Kitchen, what did this kitchen. run you? How much does it cost to buy this thing? I only paid four bands for the trailer, you know what I mean? Four thousand? Yeah, four thousand for the trailer. That's it. And free and clear. Free and clear. I no, got the title on my name. No monthly everything. payments. No, I pay, I pay lot rent though. Just to have your place on this lot is how much? I only pay about six hundred a that month. That sounds expensive. Could you but only it, own the trailer? But, but you, but you paying water. You know what I mean? You paying electric. You feel me? So if someone does Wait, it, so that's already all included. Yeah, like I like I can rent this out. Like honestly, I got a back room and I rent it out to someone back there too. You know what I mean? Like you just seen it is bad out here. You know what I mean? 
Motherfucker's willing to pay six hundred dollars for one little ass room. So kitchen, living room. So we can live in that room. This is my mom's right here. Rest in peace, you know, like I just told you. Oh, bruh. Rest in peace. These things, like, they go a lot longer than you realize. I mean, she got good security measures. So that one and that one, that was the security. Bro, can we get him to stop doing that? That was in GTA. That was in GTA. Please, Twitch. <laughs> that was in. That was in GTA. Like. Y'all need to check it out. And be a young boy and got this. We got it. Real goat shit around here. I know this is on the spot. If anyone has a verse, they can go yeah, for it. Hey, hey, you should have left it alone. Back in the day, it was okay to play, but now it's back in the zone. I'm too. Mm. That shit sucks, yo. So, so bad. This is so bad. This shit sucks. You should have left it alone. Back in the day, it was okay to play, but now it's back in the zone. I'm too deep in the key technique. <laughs> this like a video game song, bro. <laughs> this like something you hear in Rocket League. Like, <laughs> make me feel free in the code. I'm unique while the pen bleeds, I can see. Nah, this a Valorant beat. <laughs> The Valorant beat. Hey, hey, you don't need for control. No thoughts are far from the O. Fuck what you thought I was on. Let's play chess, you're playing the pawn. You go left, I go right, that's a flank in my rig with some blankets, some calm. You rappers are making me yawn. The appearance is serious when I'm on a song. He's not freestyling, but it's cool. But, bro, he's not freestyling. He's not spitting no bars. He's not doing none of that. He's simply just. Rapping. I'm like Rick with a sick and a sick when you think that nothing is wrong. I'm legit, no assist with the pit and the kit and the fist till it's gone. Yeah, Ooh, that's some yeah. choppy wordplay, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some light, some light. Next something to like. that, go. I would say you're the go to this show. <laughs> <laughs> as far as Parks and Phoenix go, where does this rank as far as sketchiness? Yeah, it's pretty fucking sketchy out here, yeah. You know what I mean? It's good, bad, and ugly out here. If someone were to call this the sketchiest trailer park in Phoenix, what would you think about that? It's pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. We got an inside look to 48 block. We got to talk to a goat. We got <laughs> to talk to local residents. I really enjoyed my time here. Does anyone have any final thoughts, anything they'd like to tell the people? Just appreciate Tommy coming out to the hood, you know, and showing love and shit out here every day, you know what I mean? Just keep pushing this shit, dog. Thank you for joining us, folks. We'll see you next week. Peace. Pretty princess, hold a fan of thousand three, Dolce Gabbana, jeans, mega.